Hey, happy Training Tuesday. It is Kim Irwin with Arbonne International. I'm an independent consultant and um, I am back. It's been a week since we spoke last and um, I want to talk to you today. Well, first of all, I want to thank you. Thank you for listening to these. And um, for those of you who have provided some feedback, I really appreciate it. I, I love doing these and I really am hoping that they're providing some value for you. You learn a little something uh, when you walk away. And there's always gonna be some Arbonne intertwined in there because that's who I am, that's what I live. So you're always gonna get a little of that. But I also wanna have something educational. That's why they're called Training Tuesdays. So anyway, I um, today I wanna talk about the power of nature, like how powerful nature is. And, you know, as you know, Arbonne is completely plant-based botanical company. All of the ingredients that we use are from nature. And I, I was thinking the other day, I was, uh, was thinking about, um, you know, I used to be in real estate. I, I sold for 20 years and um, my parents built homes, things like that. So I'm pretty familiar with construction, you know, construction, that kind of thing. But um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about bentonite clay. So bentonite, and that's spelled B-E-N-T-O-N-I-T-E. And actually, a very fun fact of that is that um, bentonite, let me see, I wanna make sure I say this correctly, is actually from, oh, I don't think I, oh, it's named after Fort Benton in Wyoming. Okay, I'm like 20 minutes from Wyoming. I'm gonna be up there tonight doing a um, wine and witches party. So that's gonna be fun. But anyway, Fort Benton, Wyoming has the largest source of clay that can be found um, all over the world for this kind of calcium bentonite clay. So why is that kind of clay important? Why is it interesting in the least bit? <laughs> um, well, first of all, if you live along the front range, like I do, I'm in Northern Colorado, <clears throat> it can create significant issues with um, having the soil start to heave under roads, under structures. And then you start seeing, um, you know, uh, um, foundations crack and then, you know, structures aren't as, as stable because they're getting this huge, great force. When bentonite comes in contact with water, it's very absorbent, okay? And so it causes roadways to buckle. I mean, it causes a lot of problems. So when you're building a home in an area that has a lot of bentonite clay, you want to be really careful that you have all of your soils um, tested and blah, blah, blah. Not that any of you really... <laughs> tuned into this to learn about bentonite uh, construction and soils, but um, would you believe that something as powerful and natural as that, that makes basement slabs heave, is in Arbonne products? Isn't that cool? So bentonite clay, it, it is used to treat acne, wounds, ulcers, skin allergies, bloating, and diarrhea. Um, it is, and it's an actually an ancient home remedy for a lot of these different issues, but it's been used way over years and multitude of years for skin conditions. And it's actually comes from volcanic ash. So um, it's a real fine powder, and that's what this bentonite clay is, and it comes from the volcanic ash. So um, as I said, it is really um, very absorbent. So what's really fun is that we have a line called Rescue and Renew. And in our Rescue and Renew mask, it has bentonite clay. And so when I'm doing my mask and mimosa parties and wine and witches and all that kind of stuff, we use, oh, I guess I didn't bring the thing itself. Um, we use this. I thought I did bring it in here. No, I guess I didn't. Okay, so we use this mask. It's the Rescue and Renew mask. And this is our meet the product sheet. But, it, you know, what it does, I won't read everything on here, but what happens is when you put this on, it's kind of a 
terracotta color, you know, and um, it starts to, you clean your face first and then you put that on and it just starts to dry. And then after 15, 20 minutes or so, you can leave it on for a fairly good period of time. But um, you think, oh, okay, now it's turned a, a real light color, it must be done. But the longer you leave that on, you start to see like dots. So people that are in these parties, I'll go up and I'll say, look at that, like we have mirrors around stuff. And they'll look and there are little bitty dots here, little bitty dots, you know, wherever on their face. And the that is pulling the sebum that clogs pores, drawing that out. So um, that's what that clay does. It, it goes in there and it starts to dry and it just starts to pull the impurities and the toxins out of your face. And so what happens when you're done? You know, you wipe that off. It feels so good. I mean, everybody's like, oh my gosh, my face feels so skin. I mean, so, so soft. <laughs> um, but it has a couple of these other things in it that I wanted you to, to hear about. They they say French pink clay. Okay, so that so it's kind of that pink color. Um, and then rosemary oil, so that it hydrates and that helps your skin clarity. And then there are all these, there are five other acids in there that help with um, brightening the appearance. And it is amazing. You know, you wash your, your makeup off, you put that mask on, when you take it off, your face just looks bright and like this really beautiful soft glow. Um, dandelion extract, and that helps the appearance of overall skin and turmeric extract. Everybody knows how great turmeric is for us and that helps with the radiance on your skin. Ginger root extract. What that does is that helps with the radiance as well. It it takes somebody who may have a dull lackluster um, skin to begin with and it now it's gone in there and it's drawn out all these toxins and everything and now it can actually, the pores appear to be smaller because they've been cleansed, they've had the stuff drawn out of it. And I know that sounds geeky, but man, Everybody needs it. Not only are we cleansing our bodies with our 30-day nutrition, but we're cleansing our skin too. Because think, remember, our skin is our largest organ and anything you put on it goes into your system within 26 seconds, remember? So that is how our body breathes. Well, our face is skin too. <laughs> so we want it to be able to breathe as well. So anyway, um, that's one of the main components in, in multiple masks that we have with Arbon is the bentonite clay. And I just thought, wow, kind of an interesting um, association between the clay that it comes, you know, mostly found in Wyoming, but it's all over the world. Um, and and having to be really careful of that because of how powerful it is in construction and soils. And then we can utilize that power, that natural power and drawing ability on our face. And um, people do other things with it as well, but I'm sticking with the masks today. So that was my training for today. I wanted you to learn about how strong and powerful nature is and how we can take science and nature and put it together. All of this is dermatologist tested too. So um, you know that it works. You know it's effective and it's so good for you. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you next week.